BTEC Level 2 Unit 9 Exam Preparation. Now in the exam, you may come across questions such as give reasons why symbols are used in this situation. Now this could be mechanical symbols, electronic symbols, welding, or any type of symbols. The answer is very similar. Now today I want to show you how to answer these questions and give you a kind of formula that you can use whenever you see these kind of questions. For example, this is a past question. This is uh, from an, uh, an actual exam question uh, from BTEC Level 2 Unit 9. So mechanical component symbols are used by technicians when producing drawings. Identify the correct name. So this is a two mark question. Of course, that's a knot and that's a spring. Now the second part of the question is give two reasons why mechanical component symbols are used when producing engineering drawings. Now what do you think the answer is going to be? Now, the BTEC marking scheme has this. As you can see, there are quite easy answers here for consistency as they're standardized. That's an easy one. Symbols are used for consistency. That means everyone over the world uses the same thing because they're standardized. They're the standard that is used. They have been agreed as the standard that should be used. Another easy answer for this two mark question is university or internationally recognized. That means all over the world they are recognized and they're used all over the world. So this is consistency and this is that they're recognized worldwide. Another question from another exam paper. As you can see it's a very similar format. Electronic symbols, the other one was mechanical symbols and you need to draw a line. So of course that's a doubt and that is a buzzer. Now the second part of this question down here is give two reasons why electronic symbols are used when drawing circuit diagrams. Very very similar to the first question isn't it? And as you can see the answers are the same in the marking scheme for consistency as they're standardized. And components are easy to identify or understand. Internationally recognized, so does that sound familiar? Now another type of question. Give two reasons for using different line types. Now line types are the different lines that are used in drawings like, you know, center line, you know, you have your dimension lines, you have the various type of lines which you've learned. And as you can see from the marking scheme, for consistency as they're standardized and universally or internationally recognized. And the other types here which are more complex, but if you want an easy way out, you can see that's the marking scheme. And it says accept any other appropriate response. So that if you write any other thing that makes sense, it will be accepted. This is another question from another exam paper. Engineers use resistors in electronic circuit. Uh, of course, you have to answer this and they say, what is the missing value for 3,500 um, 3, ohms? So orange is three and you need a color that is going to represent five. So look on it here, you can see green is five. So the answer is green. And then red is the multiplier, that's the number of zeros. So you have two zeros, so red is two. Now it says, give reasons why engineers use a color code scheme. Very similar. First one was mechanical symbols, electronic symbols, line type. And now why would they use a color code scheme? Why would they put a color coding scheme on a resistor rather than write the, the value on the resistor? As you can see here, they will use a color standard color scheme to identify values and it's universally recognized independent of language barriers. It's also a visual representation that allows for ease of memorizing. And another answer you could write is something like, um, because the resistor is quite small, as you can see, it's a very, it looks big here, but it's actually very small, uh, writing the value on it will take off space. And if you write the value, it will not be universally recognized because in China, you know, it they will need Chinese uh, uh, numerals on it. But if you have a color code scheme, colors are the same around the world. Now when you're right, when you're using this type of marker scan, you're trying to write answers, be careful that you read the question so that you're not just writing universally recognized for every type of uh, question you see. You have to uh, intelligently look at the question. Now it says, this is a company, it has a mobile repair workshop, it's very important and 
is used to repair one of bikes for cycling teams. So maybe uh, cycling uh, teams on the go, marathons, they are the mobile team on the way that repairs the bike when it is broken. Explain two advantages of using world procedure specifications in this situation. It's a four mark question and they want two advantages. So they want a linked answer. They want you to say, give a reason and then so that and write why it's important and that will give you two marks. So as you can see on here, one example is world procedures are standardized which allows the company to repair for it. You don't have to write exactly like this. You could say, well, procedure are standardized. This will, this will allow the com uh, different operators to be able to use it or, you know, operators from in different parts of the world. If there are branches in different parts of the world, the operators will be able to use it or around the, um, around the branches within the UK, if it's standardized, then everyone is following the same thing. So, but the important thing is that you have to say a reason and you have to sort of expand on it. It could be, this is why it's important. It's standardized. This is what allows the company to do. Uh, another answer here is, world procedure specifications allow the company to equip their mobile workshop. So that means that if they have the uh, world procedure specifications, then they can equip their mobile workshop and then they can cover the wide range of uh, solutions. You can put any other thing provided it makes sense, but you have to understand the question. As you can see in the answer, it's linking it back to the company. That's a very useful thing. Into the answer, throw in the name of the company so that they know that you read the question and uh, throw in the product as well. They're talking about world procedure specifications and they're talking about bicycles. So it's always a good idea to add that into your answer. And finally here, you have this company, they have this operation sheet, which is basically telling them what to do, how to carry out an operation, what machine to use, and you know, the tooling, the tools to use on that machine and the time. And they're saying, explain two advantages of using the same operation sheet whenever they're making that product. Of course, employees at each site are familiar with the operation sheet layout because it follows the same layout and that will lead to increased productivity. It's a linked answer as you can see because it's a format question, two answers. And what it's saying here is that if you use the same operation sheet, then the the, empl the employees are familiar with it and they don't have to spend time trying to figure out what to do because they can see clearly because they're familiar with the layout. And here you can see again standardized operations are more easily achieved as tooling materials can be compatible which means that if you standardize your operation then it's easier to do it because the materials and the tooling can be made compatible. So that means that all the all the, the the materials and the tooling the materials you're going to use and the tooling you can make them compatible to each other the other answers that you can write here but these are easy ones, and you, you can accept any other response w they will accept any other response from this so you can write something like okay if you use the same operation sheet for instance um it, it means that uh, it will save the company money because it's quicker to pull out um, these tools because it's, it's easier to read, it's quicker for them to get on with it and at the end of the day it will save the company money. You can also say that less mistakes will be made because it's easier for the operators to see clearly what they're doing. I hope this helps. This is the first part in a number of videos I'll be making so you can hit subscribe and then you can check out the other ones when they come online. Thank you very much. Bye.